hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Winnie today we're going to talk about how to get through short and intensive graduate programs so a little background I'm already a nurse but I'm about to finish my PhD in nursing and my program ran for three years now the average PhD program probably runs for four to five years and mine was three years so yeah it was intensive I'm going to tell you things that worked for me and what I believe would help students that are in similar positions number one find your right reason and what I mean by that is what is that good reason that made you decide to go for a graduate program whatever that reason is you have to find it you don't want to enter an intensive graduate program on a whim without actually having a reason for what you're doing you get discouraged really fast and you could actually even drop out of the program and you don't want that to happen so whatever your reason is find it and hold on to it that's what's going to comfort you when things are bad and that's what's going to make you excited when things are good number two have an end goal so this is very different from your right reason why the right reason is why do you want to get the degree your end goal is what do you want to do with the degree and you can't be completely clueless about it yes it's possible that you don't have a very clear picture of what pathway to take that's very possible and it happened to me too but you have to at least have an idea of what you want to do with the degree because if you don't have an idea of what you want to do with a graduate degree that is driving you crazy when things get tough you won't have any reason to move forward because you're going to ask yourself what am I going to do with this and then if you can't answer that question it's very easy to give up so find that light at the end of the tunnel find that thing that you say ah when I get this degree this is what I'm going to achieve with it and both your end goal and your right reason will go a long way into helping you get through an intensive graduate program number three have a support system ah a phd degree or a master's degree program is not the time to do mr or miss independent or i can do all bad by myself that is not the time for that foolishness you need a support system you cannot do this on your own you're not supposed to do it on your own like nobody was created to live like an island and this is certainly not the time for that now there are two sides to this so on one hand you could already have a support system that is family and friends that support you that love you that want the best for you that are cheering for you if you're blessed to have that that is beautiful but if on the other hand you don't it's okay too you just have to create one for yourself and sometimes your family or your friends might not understand what you're doing or why you're doing it to start with or might not even know how to support you so it's not necessarily that they wish you bad or they don't want you to succeed sometimes they just don't know how to help you this is a time you create that support system tell people this is what i'm doing and this is how you can help me and if you don't have anybody in your immediate circle that can do that for you make friends make friends in church make friends in any social organization you're a part of make friends in school your colleagues in school are one of the best support systems that you can have they're the people that you can cry to and they'll understand why you're crying they're the people that you can call when you need help and they will understand the kind of help you need because they're in the same program with you you need people that will be there for you like little things like a meal or helping you drop off something if you have children maybe helping you babysit or helping you do laundry and my goodness when your support system offers you help take it take it take the help don't say I don't need help in this angle take it and when people offer you help <laughs> be grateful there is nothing that would destroy a support system as much as an ungrateful person. Like there is nothing as terrible as when people are helping you and you're complaining and talking about 
more places that you need help and how nobody is showing up and how nobody is doing things and you have somebody that is right there with you wanting to support you learn how to be grateful if you're grateful for the little help that you get people would want to do more for you this is not the time to be narcissistic the entire world does not revolve around you i'm sorry it doesn't don't chase people in your life away because you're doing a phd program or you're doing a master's degree program don't pursue people from your life because people become strange and difficult to relate with and then they say ah people abandoned me oh when i had this thing to do everybody just disappeared nobody was helping and supporting me meanwhile you had one that was driving people away from your life still do your best to keep relationships because those relationships will be the support system that you need to get through intensive graduate programs number four have a rest day <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough have a day or at least half of a day that you set aside to do absolutely nothing but rest that day for me is Sunday on Sunday all I do is go to church come back the rest of the day I have no pressure to be productive and it's intentional what it does for you is it helps you revive yourself it helps you just recover from a week it helps you gain back your energy the bible says god rested on the seventh day and then you you will not decide to walk all seven days of the week no break you're killing yourself slowly and you burn out really really fast have a day one day and if you can't afford one day if things are really that busy then half of a day or you can break pick out two days and set out time on those two days where you rest and i don't mean sleeping at night no i mean broad daylight but you're just resting you know watching your favorite tv shows or reading a novel or whatever it is you do to relax just not doing anything that puts pressure on your mind or puts pressure on yourself and i promise you if you do that you will have better weeks you will have more productive days because it's better you get into a new day with just strength and vigor than entering day after day tired exhausted burnt out weak it's going to be very difficult for you so have a rest day number five number five be focused short intensive graduate programs are designed to get you in and get you out in a very limited time this might not be the time to fill your plate with other responsibilities it might not this is not the time to have a lot going on you want to keep your life very simple for that period that you're doing that graduate program so yes i started blogging when i was doing my phd i did some other things while doing my phd but i always made sure that none of those things took the place of my work the phd was my primary goal was my primary assignment and if at any point i thought there was a clash or if at any point i thought that there was something that would in any way take away from my phd program that thing went so you don't want to have to struggle with priorities when you're doing an intensive graduate program because the problem with intensive well not necessarily a problem but the thing with intensive graduate programs are if you fail you fail big there's no plenty time to recover so you have to get it right almost the first time and you want to give your best to do that because if not you fall behind in the program so as much as possible be focused focus on getting that degree and if we are honest with ourselves there are a lot of things that can wait yes there are things that can wait and don't do those things that can wait when you're supposed to be working on your graduate degree number six take each day as it comes 
so don't dwell on past failures certainly do not dwell on past failures and don't dwell on past successes either every day is a new day in intensive graduate programs if you dwell on past failures you'll be too discouraged to move forward i mean you're going to be beat down every single time which is not good and if you dwell on past successes you might just not give yourself enough room to try hard because you keep thinking you're the best thing that happens in sliced bread take each day as it comes every day is a new day fight hard every day work hard every day have a fresh approach do your best every single day and once the day ends it ended tomorrow is a new day and if you have that attitude you'll find out that you always give your best and nothing deters you from doing that number seven the last but certainly not the least be positive be positive <sighs> be positive and if i can be honest for a minute it's not the easiest thing to do sometimes the older you get or the more experiences you have you find yourself being very pessimistic in the name of being realistic be positive have a little faith understand expect good expect the best look forward to good days look forward to better outcomes like always expect good things throughout your program and even beyond it's one very great attitude to live life with in general no matter how dark things look no matter how discouraging they appear no matter how challenging they might look always expect the best and it will go a long way in influencing the results that you get or what happens after those results it will help you be happy throughout the program it will help you have the right approach or the right attitude towards people and your activities and i'm sure that you're going to do great thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope this seven points help and please tell me what you think in the comment section i want to know what has helped you that i didn't talk about certainly please let me know and i also want to know what programs you're doing and how far along you are if you haven't already visit my blog and drop your email address and stay up to date with all the amazing things i do at winnie students world all my social media contacts are in the description box you would also be showing somewhere on the screen right now i really want to hear from you follow me everywhere don't forget to subscribe and until we chat again i'm winnie